For this, joining me now is syndicated radio talk show host Stephanie Miller and Republican strategist and former Congresswoman Susan Molinari. Congresswoman Susan, I want to ask you first uh, did that statement read like a mother or did it read like a politician? Maybe I'm wrong, but I took it as a politician. You know what? I think it read as both. And, and first of all, I think David Letterman did the right thing. I think the tone he hit last night was what we were all hoping for and looking for. And I think we learned a lesson throughout this whole thing, as, as we do when people cross the line and they say they're sorry and, and we stand back. And I think that's what Governor Palin was attempting to do. I, I think she could have done it a little more artfully. But let me tell you something. I think she took up the gauntlet, not only because it was her daughter, but for women and children and, and girls and those jokes that are told on our behalf all the time, I think she showed some political leadership, um, which I think was very important in this arena. So, I, I, you know, I give her credit for it. I, I think she initially reacted as a mother and then reacted as a political leader. Stephanie, did it read as a mother or as a politician? Two words, Ed. Oh, please. I mean, I think we all learned something from this, didn't we, Susan? That is, if you make jokes about the Palins, the terrorists win and you hate the troops. Are you kidding? Ed is right. This is purely a political statement. And by the way, she's the one dragging her 14-year-old daughter through this. Nobody in their right mind thought this joke was about the 14-year-old. You can go to Huffington Post today, Ed. There are 10 examples of the exact same or worse joke that Conan told, Letterman to or Leno told, Saturday Night Live told. They never said anything. Here's you know, what I, this is ridiculous. It, it, they put their daughter forward as a political it, prop. Yeah. Here's what, what, what bothers me about all this. And it depends upon, you know, how you're away, raised or how you feel about it. But when you apologize to somebody, it's personal. Uh, no doubt it was a personal shot. That's how Letterman views it now. Obviously, his conscience uh, worked on him over the weekend, and he came back and he apologized. But he apologized to the Palin family, and their response was, I think, horribly impersonal. Why couldn't she, Susan, just say, David, thanks a lot, you, you know, you're a pro, and move on and gain from it. But now, Sarah Palin looks like this political animal from the North Country that just will not let up. What no, do you I, think? I I think she looked like a political leader who was saying, you know what, this was my daughter, but it could have been somebody else's daughter, and I would have been almost as outraged. So I think, you know, we're learning a lesson about lines we don't want to cross in race and, and, and gender, and, and I think, you know, it was a, a point that was well taken. Uh, you know, I, I think she was upset as a mother, um, but I think she handled it as a political leader. This is a woman who ran for national office. She can't just comment relative to her family. She's got to sort of take it on for all of us. Stephanie, is it just part of the territory? Did Sarah Palin go overboard bringing in the troops and and what about these protesters I don't see anybody in the Palin camp saying back off I mean I get a sense that they want Letterman fired uh, which is absolutely ridiculous and yes of course that statement was overboard Ed but since when does she speak for all women uh, nobody asked me <laughs> if she can speak for me you know and, and I think this is ridiculous in my opinion and many other people's Bill O'Reilly was inciting violence uh, uh, you know against a doctor who was just murdered and nobody's calling for him to be fired David Letterman tells a joke that he apologized for and you want he should be fired are you kidding me does this Susan uh, change the landscape of late night television does this is this a wake-up call to a lot of people what do you think no, I don't. I don't think so. And and you know what? I don't think David Letterman should be fired. I think people just have to be careful. Look, I miss made a mistake, and everybody sat there and said he's got to pay a penalty. You know, David Letterman made a mistake. He crossed over the line in the insinuation, and I agree with Stephanie. I took it as the 18-year-old from from the start. Um, but it still was over the line, and 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 you know, was very negative towards one individual who's happened to be 18. Um, but he apologized, and I think you do. Again, we all have to learn from where the limits are and the limits that society society is going to set and society set a limit and as a mother of two daughters I'm kind of glad about it. Well, well let me stay with you on this one Susan if I may. What's the political upside for Sarah Palin on this? Do you think people in the GOP are going to view her more favorably because of the way she handled this or you know I mean she got a piece of Letterman there's no way you can get around that I mean <laughs> she right. got a piece of Letterman on this but is she going to gain more favor with Republicans I think it shows that she cannot you know whether you agree with her or you disagree with her this is a woman who does not back down uh, she gets in your face and she says what's bothering you and you know what in politics I think we should all look at it and say again whether I agree or disagree I wish more people were like that Stephanie, this is probably the best PR that Sarah Palin's had since the election. What do you think? 
<laughs> well, and guess what? David Letterman is number one in the late night wars so far. So maybe they both win on this one, Ed. Well, uh, it, look at her as far as the GOP is concerned. We keep hearing that it's Limbaugh, it's uh, Cheney, it's uh, people, you know, uh, uh, Gingrich. People that aren't even in, an, uh, in a position of making any decisions are now head of the Republican Party. Does this hurt or help Sarah Palin in her quest future running, you know, what do you think? Well, I think, to me, Ed, it exposes more hypocrisy because when the people you mentioned, this is the party that's always lectured the rest of us about family values, and they're the ones that use their daughter as a prop during the campaign, and when nobody was supposed to say anything, you know, about it, and then, of course, when the late night shows make jokes about it, I, I, she's the one, like I say, that brought and dragged her 14-year-old through this because nobody even thought the joke was about her. Now, now, it's, now she's in the spotlight. What parent would do that unless it's for political reasons? Well, if I'm in late night TV, I mean... I I'm going after Sarah Palin as much as I possibly can, and that's the way the, the world turns. But I, I really think, moving on politically, I think this might help Sarah Palin with, uh, I guess you could say, soccer moms. But politically, the statement that she made in response to the apology is, is just is so impersonal. It's not directed at David Letterman, and so I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to view that as disingenuous. Sir, uh, thanks so much for joining us. But Stephanie, Susan, thanks so much tonight. Thanks, thanks for your take on this. Thanks, Ed. Coming up, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I think Dick Cheney wants this country to get hit again. If that's not true, let him come out and say so. More on that on The Ed Show coming up right after this. Stay with us. And my grand, and I won't back down.